Podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, weather stays on cruise control. Nice and cool nights, sunny and mild afternoons for the foreseeable future, but changes on the back de- end of the 10 day forecast. And of course, they're going to come around Thanksgiving. More on that in just a bit. But tonight, a little bit of an added celestial bonus as we do have the International Space Station flying by in uh, roughly a little bit more than about a half hour. So don't be late. And now it's not uh, abnormal to see that flying by, but we have crystal clear skies. And tonight, if you remember, the uh, spacecraft uh, launching on a Falcon rocket yesterday, the Dragon Crew-1 spacecraft launched with four astronauts on it. It's going to the International Space Station. Those astronauts are going to be on the station for six months. So look for this right at 646. It always appears as a bright star. Uh, tonight it's going to be in the southwestern sky and not long for only two minutes, but experience dictates when there's a crew delivery or uh, any kind of uh, supply delivery, you usually see the craft following behind the International Space Station and with uh, two craft docking at 10 o'clock tonight it is going to be probably a pretty short gap between the space station flying by and we should be able to see the uh, also the capsule the Dragon capsule going by as well. So remember there's three people on the space station, four people on that uh, little capsule here that's going uh, toward the space station. So something cool to watch for this evening. If you need more information it's on our social media feed and KETC.com. Meanwhile the big weather story today continues to be not only the uh, record breaking hurricane season, but a category five hurricane that is making landfall on the Nicaraguan coastline just about now that eye wall just about going to make it toward the Puerto Carbezas, Carbezas uh, uh, area in northeastern Nicaragua. Same area that was hit by category four hurricane Ada with 140 plus mile an hour winds just two weeks ago. This one sporting 160 mile per hour winds, very intense hurricane. Hurricane uh, pressure at 918 millibars. Here's the sustained winds gust to 195. It's moving to the west at nine, so it's going to be making landfall in just hours and then more than likely dissipating fairly quickly, but not the rainfall. On top of this, you're going to see a 15 to 20 foot storm surge, catastrophic wind damage across northeastern portions of Nicaragua, and then the rains continue into Honduras. Mountainous terrain here, so you're going to have major flooding, mudslides, and more than likely more fatalities. Ada was responsible for hundreds of fatalities. This one uh, maybe equally as many and a lot of folks uh, still trying to recover from Ada with no shelter. So it's going to be a rough night ahead. You see that moisture moving through Central America. And believe it or not, there could be another area of low pressure developing in the southwestern Caribbean later this week. The Hurricane Center actually gives it about a 40% chance of developing. So this hurricane season just won't quit and it officially ends by the end of the month. But who knows? We may be going into December this year. Meanwhile, for us, pretty quiet pattern, but changes coming Sunday. Frontal boundary approaching. That should deliver some showers to the area by Monday and maybe even a lingering frontal boundary that could uh, generate more showers and storms toward the mid and latter part of next week. Temperatures tonight, nice and cool. Upper 30s, lower 40s. Northern parishes of Acadiana, mid 40s, I-10 corridor. We like the 44 and Lafayette based on the computer model forecast and mid 40s for the most part uh, along the coastal parishes as well with that northeast wind. That northeast wind, by the way, delivering smoky skies to a good part of Acadiana, Lafayette this afternoon, Youngsville this evening. That's all coming from smoke up toward the Point Coupee Parish area where there's plenty of cane there. So it is that time of year. Welcome to fall in Acadiana. Temperatures low to mid 70s tomorrow. Tomorrow night back down into the mid 40s, maybe not quite as cool and into the lower 70s Wednesday afternoon with plenty of sunshine staying with us. So fall chill in the air, clear skies. Skies. And by the way, the Leonid meteor shower is peaking, but it's going to be a bust. But be on the lookout for maybe a shooting star later on tonight. No uh, uh, particular area of the sky to look at. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine, a cool start, and a mild finish with highs in the mid 70s. As we go down the road, plenty of 70s for highs, but warming up toward the end of the week and into the weekend. And then a few showers late in the weekend or early next week, and then unsettled as we get into the middle part of next week and Thanksgiving as well. That's it for weather for now. Back over to